Hey, let's get cooking. We're live with Lunch Break Live, making some delicious, easy breezy lettuce boats. What's going in to the Cuisinart, the mixer? Let's go. We're going to put these almonds straight up. We did not even have to do anything with it. We're going to put them right in. Boom. There you go. Let's put some garlic. If you don't have fresh garlic, by all means, get the one in the jar. Check it out. We're going to take all the juices as well and just put it right in to our mix. Oh my gosh, we're making a delicious plant-based mixture, y'all, that is going to go into our lettuce wraps. Isn't that fun? Let's do this. How are you doing out there? Welcome to Lunch Break Live. Next, we're going to put our delicious ginger. Now, if you don't have fresh ginger, get some of this. Have it on hand just in case. Let's put that right into the mix. We are making lettuce boats today. Oh my gosh. Are you ready to see what else is going to be going in? Let's take a look. We've got some celery, some fresh celery from the farmer's market. We also have carrots that look like I just picked them from the <laughs> garden, right? So we have delicious carrots as well. What we're going to do is we're going to put them into our lettuce. We're going to wrap them up. We're going to add some avocado. Oh, yes. And I've already sliced up the cucumber very thin. So that's going to go on there too. Now, this is a great snack, an afternoon snack, a fabulous lunch. You can even add rice to this. There's so many ways you can work with this. And of course, we're going to squeeze in some lemon because who doesn't love a little bit of lemon that picked off the back of their backyard tree. Now, what are we going to do next? We're going to actually squeeze that lemon straight into the container like so. Whoa! I don't know if you saw it, but it went. <laughs> We're going to take the celery and I'm actually going to split it into a few pieces because, you know, when you get things blending in there, you don't want it to get caught up and so forth. Oh. Tom, what a great question. I don't have an avocado tree, although I do live in California. <laughs> All right, so we're going to put that in there. We're going to take off the tops of the carrot because, you know, we don't want to add those greens. But let me tell you, if you are somebody who juices, you may want to cont continue to add the greens because their greens are great for your body. All right. So we're going to go ahead and roughage, of course, for the fiber. All right. So we're going to take our carrots. We're going to throw those in there too. I'm telling you, this is one of the easiest recipes you will ever see. And you're getting yourself a delicious, like meaty texture to what you're going to be putting on your lettuce wraps. Let me tell you, you can also add a nori sheet to this and kind of have a little bit of like a seafood flavor if you want. Um, so here we go. we got the carrots going in. And I'm telling you, we're just literally going to be blending this. It is so fast. It is so easy. We might want to go ahead and add a little bit of pepper. Why not? And we wanted to have kind of a, um, you know, like a, like a strong sort of meaty flavor to it. So it's, it's, it's like a great consistently, like a crunchy consistency. All right. So are we going to do... Oh, blender dance. Yes. Join me. We're going to get up and do the blender dance. Again, we are going to be putting this delicious plant-based meaty sauce, meaty texture, you know, consistency right straight in here. And the other thing you could do is add chickpeas to the mix, right? So you can do the same thing with a chickpea. Um, you could also use all kinds of different, um, uh, nuts that you like. So let's say you like an, a walnut. Walnuts are fabulous to kind of get this, you know, texture in here, get this going for us. So yeah, join me. We're going to get this blender moving and we're going to get a blender dance on. If you haven't done our blender dance before, come on, let's go. You can do it in your chair. Okay. Woo! 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 don't want to blend too much. <laughs> we got a little carried away there, didn't we? But you know, hey, why not? All right. So we are going to now oh, check this out. Oh my gosh. I told you it was easy. Oh, it smells so good. 
oh, it smells really good. So you do want that consistency that's like a, almost like a salad that you're going to put in there, right? It's a meaty texture. It's crunchy and delicious. And this is what we're going to put right straight onto our lettuce leaves, right? So you can use romaine. I've got a baby romaine. This, this is what they had at the farmer's market. You can add tomato slices, cucumber slices, avocado slices. You can add more lemon to it. But let's just get this going right here because I'm telling you, this is like five minutes you can get this done. So let's go ahead and put this right straight on. As you can see, we'll get some more here. And, you know, I like to show people how to get more plants on their plates and get a little messy in the kitchen. You don't have to go for perfection. You know, perfection is what keeps us stuck. So I say just get in the kitchen and start experimenting. I mean, the good news is I really can't go wrong with this. I could add a little like aioli if I wanted to, you know, or I could add more lemon. I mean, there's lots of things I can do with this. I could put a little sriracha. You know, get a little spice in there. You could always add jalapeno to the mix. So you know what I'm talking about. What would you add to the mix? What would you, Tina, Tom, anyone else out there watching right now? Come on. You know what I'm talking about. So let's go ahead and put some cucumbers on here. And again, I wanted to make this so simple. And I don't have any red peppers today, but red peppers would be lovely because it would kind of add an extra little color to it. Um, but we're going to keep it really simple. Like I said, I, you know, I love lemon, so I'm definitely going to be putting another squeeze of lemon on here. But this is a really good time for me to remind you to bring your own, bring your own bags, bring your own utensils. Stop taking plastic. Just say no, thank you. Move on. Bring your own. Keep things in your car you know, and let them know, check your bag. If you're getting something to go, say no, thank you on the utensils, bring your own. You can do it. You can also bring your own, you know, bags for when you go to the farmer's market or the regular market, stop taking plastics. We can just keep reusing things. So that's a good reminder there. There's, you know, little bags, big bags, all kind of bag bags, get a bag, you get a bag, me get a bag. We all get a bag. bag. <laughs> I know you're following along with me. What, Tom? That is the best idea. Kite Hill Vegan Greek Yogurt. Ooh, I was thinking, you know, being really nice is a is a, a vegan cream cheese on here would be really good too, wouldn't it? <laughs> There's also a really amazing squeezable brand of cheese called Grounded. You get to do your homework. You're not grounded, but check out Grounded Hemp Cauliflower Cheese. It's amazing. I'm out of it. <laughs> I had it. It was squeezable. It's so good. All right. What else are we going to do? Of course, we're going to add more lemon. Squeeze it right on there. Boop, 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 boop. And you could add more spices if you wanted. You could put a smoked paprika, right? That would be good. Or you could put like a, um, what else could you put? Like a lemon pepper, or you could do a garlic salt. You know, I'm trying to cut out the salt, the sugar, and the oil. So I'm encouraging people to do that as well. Now, I've already cut up my avocado into slices. I just sliced into there. And again, we're not going for perfection, all right? We are going for get in the kitchen and eat kind food, you know? Eat kind food, cruelty-free kind food, I like to call it. So we're going to just go ahead and scoop this out like so. And like so like that. Like so like that. I got to see Tabitha this weekend. She was at the Los Angeles Vegan Street Fair. It was a blast, which I want to remind you to support your local festival. Even if it's online, you know, go and tap in, support, share, or attend if you can. So safely, right? All right. So we're going to go ahead and pop on the avocado because we love it. <laughs> oh, I love that jalapeno. You know, you can also put some brags. Uh, you could put um, the cottage cheese, the Miyoko's cottage cheese. Oh my gosh, these ideas are phenomenal. I love it. And yes, Tina, that's right. It's so easy. Go vegan, download the free app on your phone, get the streaming service, the Unchained TV and thousands of recipes and more. And guess what? We're done. So let me just take this closer and closer and closer so you can see how beautiful it is. Wait, hold on. Just give me a second here. <laughs> and uh, while we're thinking about how you're going to bring your own and do your own and make your own DIY, right? 
<laughs> make it yourself. M I Y. Here you go. There it is. Scrumptious, dillyumptious, easy breezy. Head on over to Unchained TV. You can go to the website, get thousands of recipes. Head on over, download the app, and more. We love you. We appreciate you. And we thank you for watching. And we'll see you next time on Unchained TV. Lunch Break Live. It's Paige Parsons Roach. Peace and plants. Bye. See you soon.